the team, you know, Howard, do you think they were surprised that you ended up leaving or do you think that they could have maybe sensed that something was coming? No, <clears throat> every time it was time to negotiate, I always asked for more money. So nobody was surprised. And, and whether the guys, whether Fred and Gary and Robin, I don't think anybody had any idea of anything whether they were going to give me the money I asked for or whether I, I didn't, you know, because nobody else ever asked for more money. I actually have no idea what went through their heads, to tell you the truth. You know, I mean, they all had to feign anger, whether they were or weren't. Like, you know, there were, there were ugly things that happened. You know, like, whenever I, you can't call it walked out, whenever I stayed out because I didn't get my money that I asked for, you know, I would always make sure the general manager, you know, make sure Howard knows I'm not coming in Monday because I'm staying out because we don't have a contract. And they'd assure me. But then every every time I stayed out, here it is Monday, and Robin be like, oh, where is he? Oh, what did he stand you up again? You know, and they'd, they'd oh, feign like I had just not shown up for work, which is the Last thing in the world that I, anybody, any professional person, you would never just not show up for work. So all the listeners, you know, I got 15 million people thinking that I just screwed the show by staying home, which, you know, you, you can't combat that. You know, there's still people walking around think I left them high and dry, which is just it just total malarkey, you know. Sure. Well, well, there's a narrative there, right? And and you know, the more it becomes repeated, the more of a fact it becomes. So you you really experience that. Yeah, you know, but you know, that's that's the business we have chosen. I mean, that's the nature of the show. You know, they're not going to say, "Oh, he was such a good guy, we're really going to miss him." That's that's not the that's not the flavor of that show, you know. Sure. But the funny thing to me is that whenever you came in through the years or called in, I feel like we could really sense that they did miss you. It, I mean, it was a very sentimental feeling as much as they tried to joke and Fred would try to act mad. I mean, did you feel that they missed you at all? I do know that a couple of times I called in and a couple of times I went in, the show instantly, instantly snapped back into the old show. Even on the phone, even on the phone, if I got on the phone, everybody just fell into place. And I don't mean because I made them fall. And they, it was just so natural to us. Right. <clears throat> One of the greatest compliments I ever got, I went to do a golf outing and um, I had been off the show and I had just recently come back on the show because they met my demands, whatever it was. I, it happened three or four times. So Right. <clears throat> and the guy said, you know, it's so funny. He said, this guy just came up to me at the outing. He said, you know, I listened to the show every morning on the way to work. And you were out of the show. You were off. And then one morning he said, I was driving in. And I turned on the radio. He said, and I could tell that you were there. I could tell you would come back to the show. Hmm. And you hadn't said a word yet. He said, I could, I could feel it. I could hear it in Howard's voice, in his, in his attitude. He, it, and then all of a sudden I said, hello, or Howard said, oh, look, the idiot's back, or whatever it was. And the guy said, I he said, I swear to God, I knew it. And I thought, how subtle is that? That's a really nice compliment. It's like, yeah. almost like, you know. Like Howard would never admit in a million years, but I'm sure he was, you know, a lot more relaxed, you know, <clears throat> and he didn't need a line from me every five seconds. I wrote so much stuff for him, but just knowing that if he needs it, it's going to be there. It gives you a whole different head. You know, it's like driving oh, yeah. without a spare tire or driving with a spare tire. You know, you can relax. 